You're dancing. <laughs> <laughs> you need, you need to entertain to us now. We've just got you in here for a little chat, mate. Um, hey, Jack. Hi, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here, Jack. Obviously, you're a great lad. Hey, everybody here absolutely appreciates what you do. The club appreciates everything you do for the club. You're here helping out with training, with coaching. You come on the away games and test for the life out. We're back out, which we all love as well. Um, you know, you're a credit to your mum and dad because you're an honesty, you're a great kid. So, there was a little suggestion after something happened to you, unfortunately, you lost something that was stolen. And every single person, pretty much in this room, jumped at the chance to help you. The players, the coaches, the staff, the club, they wanted to help you out. So, on that note, here's a new bike for you, man. <laughs> Stabilizer. <laughs> 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 oh, I've never known you've lost the way. Back to the way you go right Come on, Jack, give us a twelve. Well, then, Jack, give a little speech. <laughs> uh, oh. I'd like to thank you all for everything because it, it's always made us feel welcome and I appreciate everything you did for us. Oh, I'm not fucking feeling more local. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got repairs and the staff have got you a new bike. How do you feel about that? Uh, I really appreciate everything that they've done for me because uh, it's absolutely brilliant what they do. I'm happy that they've done that for me. They've gone out of their own way, and it's—I really appreciate it. How much of a surprise was it for you when you walked in there? Uh, it was a huge surprise. I didn't—I didn't know anything about it, and uh, it's been one long, bigger plan, and uh, I haven't really known anything about it. And everyone's been dying to tell us, but I've just never known. And now it's—I found out, and it was a great surprise. I love it. How does it make you feel that like they feel that like we about you as well, that like they really wanted to do something for you like that? Uh, it makes us feel really happy, to be honest. It makes us feel like I feel really welcome and it goes to show that uh, I know where my place is here and that I know how nice of people they actually are. And the bike itself, how pleased with it? And oh, it it's, I love the bike, yeah, and it's, I really appreciate everything they've done for us again, once again. He loved his bike, it was everything to him, basically. He looked after it, he, he, he cherished that bike. Every penny he got, he spent on that bike. And when he lost it, it was just... It was bad for me and his mum. I don't know how it felt for him. It must have been horrendous. It was like his child was taken away. It sounds corny, but it's true. Yeah. Not a nice feeling for a young lad like Jack. But the way that the, the players have came together to, to put this gesture Thanks, together and, and give them a new bike, how much does that mean to, to the family? Putting that in your words is... It's uncomprehendable, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Not only what they've done for Jack with the bike, they've done a hell of a lot more for him as a person. The, he's, since he started coming to this club, they took him by the hand, welcomed him, made him feel he's, he's a complete different lad. And what they've done is unreal. I can't really put into words how we feel about that. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's it's testament to the football club, testament to the people that run the football club, testament to everyone in the football club. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. And know the club means a lot to the, to the family as well, don't you? We spend a lot of time here. Yeah, we all love the club, and this has just brought us even closer to the club. The way they've, they've, they've treated our son, it's unbelievable, absolutely fantastic, from top to bottom, everybody. So, Carl, first of all, when you found out that, that happened to Jack, someone who's so close to all of you as a team, how did it make you feel? The lads were absolutely good at um, You know, Jack's a fantastic lad, he spent a lot of time around this football club. Um, you know, whether it be a training, uh, away games, he's helped me out unbelievable amounts with the, the coaching camps and things like that, you know, so I think everybody was just extremely upset and angry for him because he's a genuine, honest lad and 
obviously you don't want to see anybody have the bike stolen but least of all someone you know at the age of 15 that relies on the bike for transport and especially relies on it for coming to watch us train and, and play you know how did you decide to do something for him? What, 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 what gave you that idea? There was a few suggestions in the dressing room, you know, and I think as a group of lads, we, we pretty much came together straight away and decided as, as a club, uh, players, staff, management, you know, yourselves, anyone that can help out, we'll chip in, we'll, we'll get the money together and really get him the bike he really wants, you know. Um, and we're absolutely delighted that we were able to do that for him. How did it make you feel to see how happy he was tonight as well? That was the, you know, that was what it was all about. Um, I was dying to tell him the last couple of weeks what we're up to, you know, because I could hear he was, he was still a bit gutted about the bike. Um, but I, know I was really looking forward to tonight and actually handing the bike over to him. And, and obviously, you saw his face in the dressing room earlier. Like, obviously, all of his family were there to see it as well. He was absolutely chuffed a bit. Um, and even the little speech he gave was brilliant, you know, for a kid so young. He's got a, he's got a great head on his shoulders um, and he's a pleasure to be around. For anyone who doesn't know Jack, can you just describe what he's like? Jack's a, you know, he's, he's a tiny little guy but he's he's got a massive personality um, I think when everybody first met him we believed he was around about eight or nine years old <laughs> you know but we found out he was 15 you know but then you realize how mature he is in his head that he's a he's a great lad um, like I says he comes on the away games he, he, he sometimes floats to the back of the bus and he tries to have a bit of banter with the lads but they're soon uh, bullying back to the front yeah but it's all you know it's all in jest he's a great great kid he takes it well um, and he loves being around the place you know and the lads have accepted him straight away and just you know, want to want to teach him and, and let him enjoy and learn in this football environment, and it's what this club's about. You know, I think we've proved it that kids are more than welcome to be involved in certain things. You know, whether it be pre-match warm-ups or coming and watching training and things like that. There's a real good kind of togetherness here, and we've got that right.